here to talk about your amateur, rookie, and walk trot horsemanship patterns. I have Tara Hayes here with me on her three-year-old baby horse, so she'll be riding for you. Uh, we're going to start off with the walk trot, then we'll go on to the rookie and follow it up with the I believe, select regular amateur horsemanship. Couple things to note: we move, we have the start cone will be right there at where that third pillar is. Your middle mark, where you you do your square corner, is going to be even with your red line. So you can see the red line over here. There's going to be a red line over here on this side as well. So we want to make sure that we're right at that middle. Also, when you come around in your walk trot, we'll talk about first, you're going to come around on that left loop circle and come down the center. It is the center line. So you'll be coming directly toward AQHA, directly toward your gates, like right where the American flag is, is your center line. We're going to talk a little bit about how far down you're going to go. This is a huge arena. You do not need to use your whole arena. So I would refer to your trainer, and it's going to depend on your horse, how far down your trainer wants you to go. You really do not need to come all the way to the wall either. You'll see that that cone is set rather far off of the wall, so we try to keep it rather symmetrical. Uh, Neutrina, I know you guys, if you have been over in that arena with the other Red the Patterns, Neutrina has been gracious enough to match every dollar that is donated for the AQHA Pro Horseman Crisis Fund. Uh, I'm sorry, Crisis Fund. So there will be buckets around. Uh, also, I think in the show office, probably, there's a QR code. So, let's get started. Come from your left. So your judges will be sitting over here where the videographer is, and one of the judges will have a flag. So you're going to enter in this gate here, you'll be ready to start at your cone. Judge will wave the flag, and you'll be in. So that walk is two horse lengths. If I'm going to be picky, I'd like to see a little more power to my walk here. Same with your jog and lope. You don't want it to be sauntery. Even though it says jog, I know we're just doing walk trot here, but even though it says jog, it doesn't mean a slow Western pleasure jog. <coughs> Another place to know where your center is is that square that we have up there that says neutrina. will decide where her halfway mark is, which looks like it's right about here to pick up her extended trot. I really like actually her line here. I like that she wasn't all the way over there on the rail. I like that, that she didn't use the whole arena because it really isn't necessary. She slows back to her jog in that center spot. Now this stop will happen on just, a, uh, I would say, just a little bit more on the top side of that cone. So you don't want to come down and be all the way even with that cone. Good job, Tara. So, do we have any questions about our lines or any questions about this pattern? What pattern was that? That was the walk trot. I, she was doing part of the youth and part, we're going to run through that again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll run through that again. 
Yes. Okay. Let's run it again, Tara. Sorry about that, guys. So, Tara, in her defense, she has learned three patterns for this evening, all combined into one. So she just mixed the two together. It's all good. Let's do it again. Again, halfway down. She could be maybe a little bit closer over here to the wall. If you, you know, again, that's a refer to your horse trainer question. Bend your trot. Here we slow in a straight line. And she's going to stop before the cone. Uh, quick little uh, story about myself. 
I, about seven or eight years ago, I had a horse flip over on me at a horse show in Del Mar, California, and it was not good. I spent, I don't know how long, a, a while, half, half a week in the hospital. And I got home, and APJ had reached out to me, hey, Kelly, no, our crisis fund is here for you. Uh, no, no, I'm good, I have health insurance, thanks. Let's, we're gonna give it to someone that needs it, right? Fast forward six months later, uh, the hospital that they had sent me to was a private hospital, and I, I ended up with 40 something thousand dollars in hospital bills. So it was huge that a great day helped. And again, we cannot thank Neutrina enough because every dollar that you guys donate, Neutrina's matching, which is awesome. Uh, to date, we've given $275,000 for the crisis fund. And it's to the horse trainers that work for you guys hard every day. So uh, it definitely helps. And it helps, it's the dollar, the $5 uh, makes a difference. Okay, let's run through your last one. Okay, here she is, ready to come again, flag waves. I like this walk a little bit better. Again, slope is fluid. So here we're starting off with your regular lope. You're going to build to your extended lope. Again, that extended lope is going to depend on how fast you go. It's going to depend on your horse, uh, how well you can sit your horse. That's something that you'll have to decide. But we definitely want to see a difference in pace. Another point is when you do slow down there, don't get so slow just to show that, oh, I was going fast. No, you actually need to extend that. I like the shape of that loop she did. Thank you. 